Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a longer video here, trying to maybe go through a little bit of some stuff that people are wondering what's going on. Um, <clears throat> just gonna start off. Got two lines from two compressors. That's one of them. They run in at, I think it's just about 100 PSI or just shy of 100 PSI. Yeah, you can see right here. It's probably a little more than 90, but. Um, I got two generators here, both on gears. The gear ratio is a 3.6 to 1, where the this spins 3.6 times as much. And that's funny if you know how Tesla turbines work, because usually you gear them down, not up. But that's how much torque we're getting here. 10-inch um, discs. There's 50 discs in here. Uh, that's 666, no, 6,666 inches squared of surface area. I didn't plan that. Um, <clears throat> and that's active surface area, so that's not including the holes for the exhaust. Kind of get a cool look through. Um, bearings are in the end plates here. You can see them. They're not very great bearings. They max out at 15,000 RPM or 14,000 RPM. Got a variable nozzle. Can we see if we can get a good look into there? You can kind of, you can see a little bit in there, the geometry. I'm not going to be able to do that with this angle very well. But if, I have another video that shows it. We got the um, locking hex shaft or hex shaft locking collars here that are holding the whole disc pack together. Um, this is all still pretty preliminary. These will not be like this, although I'm really liking this system. Um, I've got two nozzles. I'm not using the other nozzles, so I'm actually losing a ton of air out that nozzle while I'm running this. This thing is leaking like a sieve. Um, plus these holes right here, I didn't, I was an idiot and didn't plan them out. So those are leaking right out the side here once the pressure goes. Um, I've got the voltage reader going right now, just on one phase. When I do a DC full wave rectification of this, that all three together rectified will give out about a, it's, I think it's the square root of three times the peak voltage of one lead, um, which is about 1.7 times this voltage once it's full wave rectified. Um, so the last I did test this, it was coming in at about... 3.6 volts um which means the turbine was going at 2200 and this was going about 7900 um i'm going to open up these two i'm not going to touch the variable nozzle because it is, it is very touchy um you can go very fast to like it just doesn't you're not getting enough um you just got way too big of a hole for the air supply now that being said this means i can also i'm prepared to be able to use it for much 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 larger air flows for when we do the large or the cryophorus turbines that uh require much larger flow areas for the very low uh density vacuum pressure steam well, i'm just gonna keep doing some walk arounds oh what else am i missing in here I've got two polycarbon at center pieces and there's all of this housing goes for the nozzle. I will eventually have a system that makes both nozzles operate at the exact same angle. Um, I guess I'll touch again on the nozzle. Uh, the, I definitely don't need the flow to be as large as it will um, during this shot right now or this run because I don't have nearly enough flow for that. But. Let's just give it a run. You guys can see what's going on here. It's running quiet too. Oh, there goes the generators. The compressors. And that's just one of the generators, too. Ooh, we're getting to 3.9. Heck yeah, baby. Oh, is it going to hit four? Oh, it's just going to not miss it four. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. 
All right, well, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna cut it short here, because this is about five minutes. Maybe I can get a last word in here. You can see the rest of my dirty shop. Well, not dirty, but messy. I'm working on it. Yeah, this thing's running quiet. Real quiet. Real quiet. This is the last bit of air in those tanks. Let's see what it's at. Now we're down to... Wow, that's pretty crazy. Still pulling around two volts. And obviously it's, un it's unloaded, so it would drop. And really, all you're hearing here is these generators humming. And probably those gears. And a little bit of bearing. Because I think those bearings got a little bit rusted when I ran water through this through here. Yeah. All right. That's all she wrote for right now. I'll have more updates for you guys soon.